today we are once again working on the Different Faces Challenge. This is a, our fourth Catherine Parr, played by, I think, Joelle Richardson in The Tudors. And you're probably surprised that I'm not doing the Tudors version last, but hey, I wanted to do it now. She's actually she's probably my second favorite in terms of portrayals of Catherine Parr. I really like that they tried to show a multifaceted version of her. I still think it's kind of funny that we get more portrayals of Catherine Parr than we do of Anne of Cleves. And by funny, I mean annoying, but again, I'm, I just really like Anne of Cleves and I think she's so interesting and yeah, she survived so people think it's boring, but come on! Anyways, I did really like her portrayal in the Tudors. I liked that they kind of we all know what happens to his wives. Like, I just, I like the stress there of like, she really didn't want to do this. She's actually also one of the few that I've actually seen from this list, so a little biased, but I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not biased about those eyelids. Like, I struggled so much with her eyelid. I just, I don't have a slider that can do it right. Essentially, her inner eyelid is visible, the outer one is not. And no matter what I did, I couldn't get it right. And I was also really making her eyes look weird when I was trying to do this. So I was really mad about that. I'm not gonna, not gonna lie. But it just it was not feasible. It wasn't feasible. Regardless, I do think she turned out okay, but yeah, the struggle was real. You're gonna see me go back to it a couple times. She has a really kind of square face too, but also not like it was i don't know how to describe it but she had an interesting face a lot of them do which i was also surprised at it's like for some reason when people cast katherine parr it's not just like pretty 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 which is definitely the case for katherine howard understandably so but yeah so i got, had a lot of different faces to work with because that can get boring too if you're making basically the same person over and over again tempted to just change their eye color and their hair color and call it a day. Yeah, I had a lot of problems too with like her cheekish area because like in some pictures it was really narrow and kind of thin and her cheekbones stood out but in other ones she looked a little bit more rounded or a little bit more square. I came up with the best that I could under the circumstances because clearly something was happening with Photoshop to make all the pictures not line up. Or she just has one of those faces that's different from every angle. It's hard to tell. And by hard to tell, I mean like that's one of those things where you'd have to meet her in person. Yeah, I'm overall pretty satisfied with her. This one took me a lot longer than it has been lately though. Usually with my different faces sims, I'm just like boom, 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 done. But like I said, her eyelids and just like that jaw bit. It, it had me struggling, had me struggling. I'm actually hoping if I delay long enough, there is a movie coming out called Firebrand. And I'm hoping that I will get stills for that and I'll be able to use it because it's a modern one. Because I think, I can't, I can't remember when Tudors came out. I think t around the same time as 2003-ish. So the same as the previous one, but I would like to see a more modern Catherine Parr. Although they did just recast, so probably not going to. But I'd like to, because it was Michelle Williams. Now it's the um, Alicia Vikander, or it's the opposite. It's one of the two. No, it was Michelle Williams and now it's Alicia Vikander, which they put her in a lot of historical roles. Like she's the new Keira Knightley in terms of being cast in historical things, but I don't know. I don't know. She doesn't really meet my expectations of a Catherine Parr physically, but she's a phenomenal actress, so she could definitely crush it. I've also decided I do need to watch all these dang movies. The ones that I can, anyways. It's just hard because a lot of them are like BBC or just you can't find them anymore because they were made in the 30s and... But 
I'm gonna try. That's my goal this year is to watch some of them. I might just rewatch the Tudors though, let's be honest. I can't even remember what I was looking for here. Oh, I was looking for a hat. That's right. Because this is one thing I was really happy about. In one of the stills she was wearing, it was not a Tudor hat, but it was close enough that I decided, you know what, I can use my Tudor hats. This is great. I can totally use the Tudor hats. And I wanted to put the hat on first before I decided on her hair, because I knew it could clip. This hair, finding a hair was such a problem, because the hat that she's wearing in the still is like pressed down super far, almost just like an inch above her eyebrow. So it's really low, which this CC hat is not. And then her hair was clearly parted, but like tight against the scalp. There was no wispy bits. so. That's a hard hair to find, especially one that would cover enough of her forehead to make it not look weird. She, out of all the wives, had the funkiest hairstyles sometime. Like at one point she had this weird prom ponytail, just full on, no shame, prom ponytail. I'm like, what is that? What is that? They also like to put in weird stuff in her head, worse than they did to... And Boleyn. Like, they're just like, let's just put weird, weird things in her head. Actually, Anna Cleves probably get the worst of that, but only a few, few episodes she got weird hats. Catherine Parr, they're just like, no, we're gonna put her in this weird pointy tiara. No, we're gonna give her prom ponytail. Like, they did her dirty. I will, I'm gonna say that. But this, partic tr bleh, this particular look wasn't that bad. So that's why I wanted to mimic it as best as I could. I didn't have, she had like a fur and I didn't have that and I didn't have a green dress that quite suited what that one looked like, but I had one that was close enough that I was happy with it. Again, I'm aging her a bit because she's played by an older woman. She is meant to be an older woman. She actually didn't have too much makeup on either, which surprised me with the Tudors because usually it was like false lashes galore. So I was pleased with that. She definitely had lipstick on, and obviously foundation and blush and all that, but it just didn't seem as egregious as previous wives. So yeah, this is me going, I want to use a red dress because the hat is red, and I'm going, well, but the dress she's wearing in the show is green, I should try to do that, and then struggling to know if I had even a green dress to work. I probably could have just cut this out, but you're going on this journey with me. I almost went with this one, but it just, it needed to have a collar and be open. It was supposed to be open a lot, but it needed to be open a little bit just to please me because otherwise it would bug me. I thought about the Anne Cleves one because I was like, it's at least kind of lower, but. And then I already used the Elizabeth one, so I didn't want to use that. So I ended up using these, which were, I believe, the same mesh as the Elizabeth dress, but not the same recolor, obviously. So yeah, we're basically done with her. So let me know what you guys think of her. Um, I'm curious what you guys think of the upcoming movie Firebrand. Like I said, I'm hoping that I'll get to make that sim, but we'll see. If you liked this video, definitely give it a like. I really do appreciate it. And on that note, I'm gonna go. So I will see you in the next one.